It's now time to take a look at Marvel's Midnight Sun on the Steam Deck. The game will play at 1280 by 800 resolution, because that's the native resolution of the Steam Deck, and you will notice that most of the graphical settings will be either low or turned off. That said, it actually on a 7-inch screen doesn't look bad at all. Um, the frame rate itself depends. Uh, if we're actually looking at the gameplay, when you're actually in the middle of the gameplay, it actually is very good. It oscillates very between 40, usually between 45, 50, and 60, but for the most part stays around 60 frames per second. So that's that's a good thing. It's uh, it doesn't dip that that uh, often. However, on the actual cutscenes, uh, it or when you're walking around the abbey, it will depend where you are. Like for example, if you are out in the grounds of the abbey. Uh, the frame rate can actually uh, drop, uh, but if you are actually looking at a cutscene or something like that, it usually stays around 40 frames per second. It can go uh, much lower than that, or it can go all the way up to 60 frames per second. The problem is that it's a, it's a very variable uh, frame rate on the actual uh, cutscenes, but like I said, let's say it will stay around 40 frames per second. But gameplay is what you want, and gameplay usually stays around 60 frames per second. That's the good news. Uh, I got several bad news with this game, which makes me not want to recommend this game on the Steam Deck. The first and biggest one is, uh, let me put it like this. I played uh, multiple other games uh, for dozens of hours each game and rarely had a, uh, anything like uh, the game dying on me or the game freezing on me. Uh, but this one did freeze on me often. Uh, I think in three or four hours of gameplay, it must have fro uh, froze uh, freeze on me, I don't know, uh, five, six times, which compared to, for example, No Man's Sky, which I played for almost 100 hours on the, on the Steam Deck, and it froze uh, like yeah. once and crashed like twice, or, or with something like XCOM 2, which actually, again, I played close to 100 hours, and I, I think it crashed twice, and it might have frozen once. So yeah, doing a five to six times in three to four hour term, uh, time frame tells me that there's an issue. Maybe we'll have to wait for a patch or something for this game, etc., uh, etc. Et the second thing I didn't like about it, yeah, but uh, it's you kind of kind of get used to it on the Steam Deck. It's the very long uh, low times. Uh, some uh, between uh, some of the low times will actually be I don't know like uh, up to a minute. Uh, most of the times will be anywhere between 30 seconds and a minute, or usually closer to 50 seconds. So, a lot of times can be a pain. And with the game freezing and then you having to restart the whole Steam Deck, that becomes a problem. Uh, obviously, uh, another thing that it's, uh, I don't know, the, the places where you can actually save this game are interesting. Like, it actually will save between every single uh, turn of the battle. At the end of the turn, it will actually save there. That's actually a good thing because when it. Uh, the good news is that it never froze during the battle. It only froze between, uh, between like uh, the battle and cutscene, or between uh, right when you go to sleep, which is the other save point. Uh, then it will freeze there, there, uh, which again is a pain because you always have to reload the game. So for that reason, because it actually is freezing so much or so often, at least that that was my experience when I was actually recording this. But at the end of the the, the actual uh, cutscene, it actually froze. So. Uh, I, I can't recommend this game until they patch it or something else is, is going on. Uh, so that's about it. Uh, again, the game, like I said, as you will see, the, the the frame rate of the actual gameplay it's it's, it's very good. It always is above fifty, or for the most part, above fifty frames per second, and it stays very close to sixty frames per second for the most part. So I think a playable. It's a it's a it's a, a real time. I'm sorry. It's a turn-based uh, strategy game uh, with cards, so you weren't expecting too much as not a first-person shooter, but hey, it got good, good uh, frame rate either way. So anyway, that's all I have for you. I'll let you see the rest of the actual uh, video, so I guess I'll see you in the next one. No mercy for the servants! Weak, even for Hydra. Watch this. I am impressed. I saw a move like that once, centuries ago. Wow.
never forsake her. As long as I get to hit you back. That will not slow me down. They must really want to piss me off. We are not out of this yet. Preliminary analysis of the blast confirms high levels of gamma and various unknown energies. Unknown to you. There is dark magic at work here. We must not let Hydra escape with it. You are lucky to still be breathing. Truly your best? Change their minds. I was in control of the situation. I'm out of commission. We won't be able to recreate Faustus's experiment or track potential future variance gamma signatures without a baseline resonant sample from his initial occult catalyst. Got it. Stop the truck. Something. I feel more like myself every day. Walk in the light. I needed that. The battlefield is ours. Get my head on straight. Someone call for reinforcements? can be quite frustrating. Infuriating, even. I suppose by now I'd normally be tromping through the warehouse, hurling the puny truck at the moon. Don't worry, Bruce. I've got a pair of torn purple pants with your name on them. And I thought Man-Thing was ugly. No. 
Now I see why so many fear your strength. One less thing to worry about. Approximately 16,342 more to go. I suggest starting with the remaining Hydra forces in your vicinity. for you to run away. Your time has come. That's one hell of a move. These fanatics are always the same. That's one hell of a move. The light will heal you. Appreciate it. You do not have to show off for me, Blade. What is this thing? Bad guy crate. Full of bad guy stuff. I know those symbols. From the time of the first hunt. That glyph means barrier. That one, almighty. Something, something. Gods and demons. So a spooky bad guy crate. Very spooky. Designed to contain powerful magic. Be careful. <sighs> Got it. Don't cross the streams. Never do. How about we get this thing back to the Abbey and see for ourselves? 